Welcome to another Noble Review session for students of AP Economics. Today we're going to talk about the concept of a consumer surplus. A consumer surplus is the price that a consumer is willing and able to pay for a product minus the price that the consumer actually pays. Let's say I want a brand new glockenspiel. I have $100 cash and I'm willing to spend all of it on a glockenspiel. I go to the store and I only have to pay $80. That means I have a consumer surplus of $20. The area of consumer surplus can be described as under the demand curve and above the market price. When the price of a good changes, the area of consumer surplus changes. Let's say the government imposes a per unit tax on production, so the supply curve will shift to the left. The market price would increase, and the new area of consumer surplus would decrease. If there's an increase in consumer taste and preferences for a good, demand would shift to the right, the market price would increase, and the new area of consumer surplus would go up. In this market for video games, consumers that are willing and able to spend more than $50 per video game will experience the consumer surplus. That's the area above $50 and under the demand curve. When the supply of video games shifts to the left, the price increases, and this increase in price and the decrease in quantity demanded will cause the market consumer surplus to shrink to this triangle. But when demand shifts to the right and price rises, we'll see that the overall level of consumer surplus in the market is going to be even greater. Well, that wraps up this Noble Review session on consumer surplus. In the next video, we'll talk a little bit about producer surplus.